The secret to a fruitful life is in keeping things simple. Well, that's my motto to lead my daily life with joy and charm. Today I'm going to be making this simple oil mixture to be used as hair oil. When added to coconut oil, finely ground fenugreek seeds also known as methi in Hindi and kalonji combine to double its benefits instantly. Bring everything to a boil for 5 to 10 minutes so it can all combine well. I used an old plastic box to store extra dishwash tablets. The main jar remains next to the dishwasher under the sink in the cabinet. That was a simple way for me to reuse some existing plastic jars that come with a lot of products. Usually when I'm in a rush to get things done, I would throw away boxes like these in the trash without giving any thought to how I could put them to good use again. These milk cartons also caught my attention today. Over here in Germany, these would end up in the recycle bin, but I figured I could put them to good use by planting seeds for the coming spring. Coriander and fenugreek or methi as we call them in Hindi are the easiest to plant. All that's left is to get enough sunlight. <laughs> it was only last week that I wholeheartedly welcomed spring and I could feel summer approaching. It was warm last week but the weather gods had other plans and the temperature dropped out of the blue this week. <laughs> So let's see if this plan works out. I soaked dhania seeds last night in water. You have to crush them with very light hands only to break them apart. After sprinkling the soaked seeds, cover with a very thin layer of soil and water nicely. Well, this is my simple cold coffee for days when I don't want to whip up Dalgona coffee. Soaking in the last bit of sunlight before it hides behind the tall buildings. I can feel the shift in the air and the change in the breeze already. Do you not agree that having more light and brightness in the home makes homemaking even more enjoyable and fun? My dish mats were in real need of a proper home and so finally I took 2 minutes out of my time to hang them using these command hooks. It took me an eternity to get around to doing this, even though it was only a two minute long task. I found these new style of hooks that are transparent but have a thinner steel hook in front. This really helps with hanging things properly. Organizing really brings me so much joy and Little but simple changes always add to making life simpler and easier. I had two extra frames that I decided to hang as well. 
If there's something that really saves my time as a homemaker, then that has to be having a meal plan for the week. But that doesn't mean I cannot be flexible with it. I recently grabbed a packet of fresh spinach the moment I spotted it in a grocery store nearby. So I am going to be modifying the weekly plan with a few last minute adjustments. I like to use a wet wipe and a toothpick to get into the corners of this blender. I have to say I am not entirely happy with this brand. Although very popular, unfortunately this particular machine hasn't worked out very well for me. Don't get me wrong, it can grind well, no issues with that. However, the jar is too wide for me to comfortably hold and secure. And no matter how careful I am, it still leaks quite often. The machine is excessively noisy and handling lesser quantities can be challenging. That was simply my take on it and I figured you would find it noteworthy. I'm going to be quickly blanching spinach in hot water and then immediately shifting it to cold water to retain its color. This does two things. First, it removes dirt from the leaves and second, now the spinach can be easily refrigerated for later use. Be careful, do not transfer hot oil into a jar until it has cooled entirely. I accidentally broke a glass container once since I was being super impatient with it. <laughs> Chopping onion, tomatoes and coriander leaves. I quickly made a matar kulcha recipe for lunch. Into boiled peas, we will add the chopped veggies along with a few tangy chutneys, lemon, fresh coriander and a few basic spices. The spices that I added include cumin powder, chaat masala, black salt and red chilli powder. Adding the chutneys is entirely optional as this recipe tastes amazing even with just the spices, onion, tomatoes. In this case, don't forget to drizzle some lemon. This is a very healthy recipe since we don't use even a drop of oil to make this. And on top of it, it's fresh and tasty. Alongside these, I prepared a dough for kulchas. Unlike the usual dough, which is made with all-purpose flour, that is maida, I made use of whole wheat flour, which is atta. Even with atta, they came out incredibly supple. Once again, you should cook them without oil. I mean, that's how it's normally done. But a touch of ghee and coriander is entirely optional and that can be added later on to spice it up a bit. These kulchas are supposed to be airy and fluffy from inside and that is what makes this entire recipe so interesting. I was on a call with Papa the other day when he happened to mention this dish and there it was. I was too tempted to not make it. <laughs> Our lunch was sorted with this and just like that, 
I had spent a major part of the day enjoying simple little activities that often make a part of a homemaker's life. Let me know if you would enjoy watching similar random day in my life videos. Have a great time. See you next week.